but you know what every day that's called my opinion. Good evening, everyone. This is the Board of Trustees meeting of November 10th, 2015. I'll call the roll. President Berry will not be here tonight. Trustee Stalker? Here. Trustee Olenichik? Here. Trustee Desmond? Here. Trustee Carberry? Here. Trustee Vorder? Here. And Trustee Strite? Okay, we have a quorum. And I'd like to ask for a motion to appoint a president pro tem for tonight's meeting. I'd like to nominate uh, Trustee Olenichik. Second. Call the roll. <coughs> Trustee Stalker? Yes. Trustee Olenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Vorder? Yes. Motion carries. Bring your name to you again. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> I just have a question. Does he get a raise for this? Only if you approve it. I want him to uh, executive action, no more property taxes. <laughs> All right. Can we please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Can one of our students from Richards High School lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, and we do not have public comments tonight? So there are no public comments tonight. Uh, conflict of interest disclosure. Does any trustee have a conflict of interest to disclose? None being said, we'll move on. Um, can we go with the approval of the meeting minutes, regular meeting minutes dated, I mean, 2015-21, dated October 27, 2015? Motion to approve. Second. Oh. Motion made by Terry Vorder, seconded by Trustee, Trustee Stocker. I'll take the roll. Trustee Stalker? Yes. Trustee Lenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Border? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, approval of meeting minutes, special meeting minutes, number 2015-22, dated October 28, 2015. Can I get a motion? Motion to approve. Motion approved by Trustee Desmond. I'll second. I'll second by Trustee Border. Any discussion? Please take the vote. Trustee Stalker? Abstain. Trustee Lenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Border? Yes. Motion passes 401. New business by trust Village Trustees. Trustee Desmond? Uh, thank you. Um, I don't have much. I uh, just want to uh, tell people about Santa on the Green at Saturday, November 28th from noon to 3 p.m. That'll be right here, uh, obviously on the Village Green. Um, and I, I, one other, I think it's great that um, that uh, Trusty Strait and uh, Mayor Berry have decided to go on vacation together. It's <laughs> nice to <laughs> see them getting on so well. <laughs> 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 so we wish them luck. <laughs> That's all I have. Uh, <laughs> Trustee Carberry? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, thank you, Trustee. Um, Riley's daughter is going to be is returning. It's going to be open next Thursday. It's going to be their first night open. So uh, go up to Riley's daughter. There's going to be some great entertainment. And I guess um, it's going to be the return of uh, Terry McEldowney. Um, great food, spirits, and um, Riley's daughter will be back next Thursday. Thursday. That's all I have. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Carberry. Excuse me. Is that the original location? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Trustee Stalker. Nothing at this time. Thank you. Excellent. Trustee Vorder. Thank you, Acting President Alex Olenichek. <laughs> Just one thing. Uh, tomorrow's Veterans Day. I think it would be appropriate for me to recognize the men that have created the environment in which we can all be free and especially those that uh, have given the ultimate sacrifice their lives. 
tomorrow at 1030 on the Village Green at our War Memorial out there, the VFW will be doing a ceremony uh, to recognize veterans. And I'd like to extend an invitation to everybody that might be free. I think tomorrow's supposed to be 65 degrees. The rain don't come till later. So I expect to see a big crowd. That's all I have, Alex. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Vorder. Mm -hmm. um, and jumping on the Veterans Day, I, I read something today that really uh, hit home is, you know, you always thank a veteran. Uh, and one of, one of the veterans that was thanked said, don't thank me, thank the people that aren't here today. Uh, freedom isn't free, and many men and women gave their lives for our freedoms and our ability to live the way we do. So please, tomorrow, take a moment and remember the veterans, uh, both uh, alive and deceased, in your prayers. And, Terry, thank you for your service. Thank you for yours, Alex. That concludes my report. We move on to Village Manager's Report. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, the first item, um, I'm going to ask that you... Uh, postpone that till <clears throat> your meeting on November 24th. Uh, reg regrettably, um, good news is that uh, the village and our police officers, Chapter 309 of the Metropolitan Area Police, have reached agreement on a uh, multi four year contract. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't been able to get the executed copy yet. It had to be vetted by their legal counsel, signatures secured and uh, it wasn't uh, <clears throat> delivered to the village in time for tonight's meeting. So uh, we'll just postpone that good news uh, till the November 24th. May I get a motion to postpone or do I need that? Motion to postpone. Motion by Trustee Vorder. Second. Second by Trustee Stalker. Thank you. Uh, discussion? Speak to all. Trustee Stalker? Yes. Trustee Lenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Vorder? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem Board. Uh, I have two items of very good news to the village, particularly number one um, in the budget cycle. Uh, I've just received word that uh, the Illinois General Assembly House of Representatives have voted 115 to 1. 115 to 1. So it was a bipartisan coming together to approve House Bill 4305. What that means to you as Oaklawn taxpayers is monies that normally every year are used to fund and to uh, reduce the impact of property taxes have been held hostage uh, at the state level because there's been no agreement on the budget. These monies for the entire year for us, um, the fiscal year for the state, starting in July, half a year for us, uh, concern 911 service fees, which account for roughly 30% of funding our regional communication center, our video gaming fees, which on an annualized basis are about 400,000, 400, and more, most important, our motor, motor vehicle tax fee. Um, Brian, that's um, annually over 1 million what? 1 million? It's a million four. Now that's 1 million four that is used annually by um, your mayor and your board on a very aggressive uh, repaving of streets um, in the village of Oak Lawn. And without that money, it would put a major crimp in our ability to continue repaving streets throughout the village of Oak Lawn. So uh, there was bipartisan support. A friend of Oak Lawn, the Republican leader uh, for the House, Jim Durkin, he encouraged bipartisan support. And late in the afternoon, Governor Rauner gave his signal uh, also supporting the passage of this bill. Initially, there was not support for that. So um, we owe thanks to leadership on both the Democratic and the Republican side uh, in working together to get this bill passed. Next step, it goes to the Senate, then goes on to the governor for signing. Number two, great news. Um, Mayor Pro Tem Alex Olenicek, Trustee Olenicek is the chairman of our green team. Now, the green team consists of volunteers. Usually we have uh, Lynn here and, and others, Carmi. Uh, Carmi is also here, uh, is involved with the, the green team. But Alex chairs that green team. And today, the Village of Oak Lawn was honored at the annual MWRD Sustain Sustainability Summit. Uh, Oak Lawn received approximately 20% of all the rain barrels that were distributed by MWRD. 
roughly 4,000 out of 20,000 barrels went to Oak Lawn. Now, to put that in perspective, Oak Lawn's population is well less than 1% of the service district of MWRD. MWRD represents well over 2 million households, well over 5 million um, people. And Oak Lawn, as you know, is 57,000 population. And Oak Lawn residents requested, households requested uh, close to 4,000 rain barrels. Uh, and the rain barrels uh, are used, uh, tied into gutter systems and, and to um, um, basically mitigate against storm water that goes back into the earth or would end up in flooding in the community. It's a, it's, it's a small part of a big picture, but I think it's indicative of storm water is an issue in this community, and we're trying to work with MWRD, particularly on uh, open lands that the highest and best use in this community have been designated for um, stormwater management. And hopefully in the future we'll have the owners of those large <coughs> parcels of property work with us on a mutual cooperative project, both at 103rd Street and then further uh, south of uh, Stony Creek Promenade. Uh, so congratulations to the green team chaired by Alex. Um, that's an outstanding achievement in real dollars. It's a million dollar program, about 20% of that million dollar program went to taxpayers in Oak Lawn. So thank you, Green Team, and thank you, Oak Lawn residents, for participating. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Excellent. Next on the agenda is the ordinance number 15-23-82, an ordinance amending Title VI, Chapter 5B, Section 7E of the Oak Lawn Village Code pertaining to rental property registration fees. Can I have a motion? Motion to approve. Motion by Trustee Carberry. Second. Seconded by uh, Trustee Stalker. Any discussion? Call the vote. Trustee Stalker? Yes. President Pro Tem Olenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Vorder? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Excellent. Resolution number 15 23 58. A resolution urging Illinois state leaders to release non general fund revenues payable to local governments. May I have a motion? Motion to approve. Is this necessary? <laughs> I think we just got yeah. news on <laughs> Well, let's still send it down to them. There, well, there's fine. still other work that they have to do down there. Well, we can couple it with the, uh, with the other one as well. Okay, let's couple it with resolution 15 23 59, a resolution opposing the proposed extension of the Cook County amusement tax. Motion to postpone indefinitely. Second. I got a first by Trustee Carberry, a second by Trustee Stalker. Any discussion? Take the vote. Trustee Stalker? Yes. President Pro Tem Olenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Vorder? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, then we have resolution number 15-23-60. A re resolution authorizing the execution of a master lease agreement with Chicago SMSA Limited Partnership doing business as Verizon Wireless pertaining to the siting of certain telecommunications equipment on village owned property. May I, may I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve by Trustee Border, seconded by Trustee Stalker. Any discussion? Trustee Stalker? Yes. President Pro Tem Olenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Board? Yes. Motion passes. Okay. We have a request to waive the formal bid process and recommend awarding the purchase of one 2010 John Deere wheel loader from United Rentals in the amount of $75,500 for the Department of Public Works Street Division. Can I get a motion? Motion to approve. <coughs> And a motion to approve by Trustee Desmond, seconded by Second. by Trustee Carberry. Please, <coughs> any any discussion? Please take the vote. Trustee Stalker? Yes. President Pro Tem Olenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Border? Yes. Motion passes. Next, we have the Village Clerk Report. Right. Approval of semi monthly disbursements, number 2015 20D dated November 10th, 2015, in the amount of 
$984.81. Can I get a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Motion by Trustee Carberry, seconded by Trustee Vorderer. I'll second. All right. Any discussion? Please take the vote. Trustee Stalker? Yes. President Pro Tem Olenich? <coughs> yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Vorderer? Yes. Motion passes. And the Village Hall will be closed tomorrow, November 11th, in honor of Veterans Day. And thank you to all of our veterans who've served our country. Um, we may not be sitting here free to talk about what we want to talk about if it wasn't for you. So thank you very much. And I hope to see everybody at our ceremony tomorrow beginning at 1030. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. And now we're on to the Village President's Report. Uh, first, we have a request to approve Local Liquor Advisory Board Referral for a Class IV liquor license, restaurant, liquor, bar permitted, and live entertainment permitted, and a Class N liquor license, outdoor service areas, uh, for the whistle located at 4911 West 95th Street. It came in with a 5-0 vote to approve in District 3. Can I get a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Good. First by second. Trustee Desmond, second by Trustee Carberry. Mm -hmm. Any discussion on that? Can we get the vote? Sure. Trustee Stocker? Yes. President Pro Tem Olenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Border? Yes. Motion passes. Next, we have ordinance number 15-23-83, an ordinance decreasing and increasing the number of Class IV liquor license and decreasing and increasing the number of Class N licenses that can be issued in the village uh, to Golden Partnership, LLC, DBA, The Whistle at 4909-11 West 95th Street. Can I get a motion to approve? Motion, motion to approve. approve. Second. Any discussion? I'm sorry. We've got motion to approve by Trustee Carberry, seconded by Trustee Desmond. Any discussion? Please take the vote. Trustee Stalker? Yes. President Pro Tem Olenichik? Yes. Trustee Desmond? Yes. Trustee Carberry? Yes. Trustee Border? Yes. Trustee Stripe? Yes. Motion PS is 6 0. And can I get a motion for adjournment? Motion to adjourn. Second. Order first, Trustee Stocker second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you.